pancakes. That's right, LT. There's only a couple people in the world, Damon, that can do this. And it applies to exactly who they are. Uh, it's great to have the number one player in the Rolex rankings uh, from the LPJ Tour, Yanni Sin with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me here. Well, I, I, we must say it's great to have you, but you made it clear about a month ago that you, you were thinking, where's the love for me? Why am I not in there? Let's go back, folks. Uh, some of these tweets. This is you on February 2nd saying, why am I never invited to Morning Drive? And the operative word is two. You've been on Morning Drive a lot. Now, Suzanne Pedersen responded, you can come with me. You need to learn how to behave. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Look at that shot back from Suzanne. And then you responded, what are you talking about? I only learned from you. Good well back. done. Now, you have been on Morning Drive as much as any player because you just kept winning and winning and winning and by virtue of that you've done things in the game at your age that are that are unprecedented but you said last week that you know what it's kind of lonely and that being number one is not as much fun as it either used to be or maybe you thought it was going to be you feel exactly the same this morning as you did when you made those comments I know I mean I feel like I've been always having fun to be war number one but I mean and now I feel it's not as fun I first couple months when I be war number one because I think every year every month everybody put more expectation on you everybody think you should play like a world number one like winning winning a lot of week or play, finish top 10 all the time but I mean last year it's very struggling I mean I didn't play as good but I just want to play good golf but everybody is like when I f didn't finish top 10 and everybody's what's, what's wrong with Yanni but it was like nothing wrong I still I still mean and I still I didn't change anything but last year was a very tough week very tough year for me I think it's fascinating that you've made your comments really in the same time that Roy McIlroy has talked about dealing with the pressure of signing this new contract and, and the expectations that go with that and changing clubs. How much are you following what he's going through on the PGA Tour? It sounds awfully similar to what you've been going through on the LPGA. I know. I can totally understand what, what he feel because, I mean, not many people be one number one before and everybody want to be in their shoes, but everybody, no one knows how tough is it because there is something that you have to do outside of golf to, to the media to the fans and people expect you more than anything else but I mean but when you're not war number one people thought oh that's okay to have a miss to have a miss tournament or anything but I mean when you're war number one I mean that expectation and some of the comment from fans from media is very very hard I mean I try to not look that but it's really hard you know it's just sometimes it a heartbreak. Sometimes you feel like, why they say that to me? Because you feel sad too. You want to do your best. You want to show your performance to to everybody. Mm -hmm. the, the idea of, of listening less. You, you like you 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 like having fun, and you like participating. Whether it was always coming on our show here, uh, Rory's the same way. He he's a big sports fan. Are you listening less because what you're hearing is not as positive as what it used to be? Yeah, I, I mean, I used to not listen too much, but even when I struggling and I listen more I just don't know why I think probably just you know the human being is always like this but now I just even I look but I try to stay the positive I just look in a good way you know it is that I know that people still pay pay attention on me you know so I mean it's good I mean this year I just want to you know keep smile because I think last year I didn't smile as much and I don't like that <laughs> I, because smile it's always remind me to have stay a good attitude you know have fun on the course and show my big smile to the fans you mentioned that not a lot of people can relate to what you've gone through. One person who can is Annika Sorenstam. You live in her old house. You guys are on the same block. She, you leaned on her earlier in your career. How much have you talked to her in the last few months or, or last year about what you've been dealing with? Yeah, I talk to her a lot, but she's a, everybody goes through this. She, she told me to not worry because she know I, I haven't played my best yet. That's why I need to keep working hard and try to play my best every year. And then because don't worry about those things because you learn from that and you learn as you, you go. So, I mean, she's not worried about anything. So I was surprised because I'm worried about myself. But she's, <laughs> she, I mean, she really trusts me. She really believes me. So that made me believe myself a lot, too. Uh, I want to go back to 2011 at the Kraft Nabisco. You didn't win the golf tournament, but you did something that I thought kind of summed up your personality. It was a light moment. It was preceding the final round, uh, playing alongside Stacey Lewis, and you were the defending champion. Uh, and you went up and you you said, well, I'm familiar with that trophy. Looky there. That, that's, that's your personality. Do you feel like you would do something like that less right now or over the last year because your, your sense of just feeling fun hasn't been there? 
Yeah, I know. I mean, everybody talk about that. Everybody was like, maybe because you touched a trophy, so you didn't win a tournament. But actually, I touched a trophy before too. But after that crab, everybody was talking about. So I was like, oh, I better not touch a trophy <laughs> after that. But that, yeah, that's my personality. I just want to have fun, and I I see the trophy I like to touch. I mean, everybody want to touch a trophy. I mean, so I wasn't care about too much. So I want to try to bring that back as my personality to have fun and and smile on the golf course and. Chatting with everybody and just play like a Yanni. You've talked about the number one ranking being a bit of a mixed blessing. How much do you still want to hold on to it? You you know that the questions will come with it, the media responsibilities, but it also says that you're the best at what you do. Do you want to be number one still? Do you still burn to be it, or are you going to kind of let go and, and let things happen? Uh, I try to just let it go. I mean, last year I care a lot. I mean, I worry about too much. I was care about all the people behind me, and then they try to, you know, push me, and they just, I mean. Everything you want to really work in hard, but I mean, last year I just put too much expectation on myself and too much pressure too. And this year, I just want to let it go. Let it go. I want to. I just want to play good golf and have fun, of course. Even even I'm, if I'm not world number one, I mean I'm still happy. I just want to play good golf. Doesn't matter what position I am because I know if I have fun. If even I lose, I just try to get it back. I mean, is is for me. This year, I just want to stay in a good attitude. I don't want to worry about war number one anymore. Mm. But I know war number one is always my dream, always my goal. But if I keep because I have confidence, if I lose, just get it back. So I'm not worried about too much, and I just want to keep learning and keep smiling and do the best I can. You're okay. off to a good start. I mean, you've got a second and third this year. I said, when did you get home? And you said yesterday morning. Does it feel like you're coming home now? <laughs> yeah. It does. It does. Okay. I mean, I've been living in Orlando for four years, but I still feel like I'm living in Annika's house. So it's pretty, <laughs> I still feel like pretty cool, you know? So uh, I, I, this is my home in Orlando now. So I'm very enjoy it. Every time I come back here, I'm very relaxed and people here are really nice. They treat me well. And so it's a uh, very happy to be here. I'm very happy I moved here too. Good deal, Yanni. We'll sit tight. We have more questions for you when we come back after the break, including some of Yanni's pursuits off of the golf course. She's a bit of a daredevil. We'll get into that on this Thursday. It's Morning Drive.